Hey there, folks. So, welcome to the April 2018 Gentleman's Box unboxing. Gentleman's Box is pretty much the gold standard right now for the men's accessories boxes uh, that I subscribe to. Um, I always try to say something unique about each company, and what they do well is... They theme all of the accessories in the box around a person or an idea. Our favorite blank. So I have no idea. I always try to avoid the spoiler videos because I always go out about a week before I get my box. So I have no idea. Oh, okay. Honoring our favorite golden child. Well, I see golf balls. So I suspect that we are not talking about the 1980, it was it 86 Eddie Murphy comedy, The Golden Child? Uh, so let's see what we have in here. Uh, let's see. Letter from John, the founder. Uh, let's see. Honor our favorite golden child. Our honoree this month is no stranger to the course. In fact, this three-time major championship winner is a master of his game. His nickname, the golden child, comes from being the youngest golfer to accomplish as much as he has. Our honoree is the youngest player to ever win the U.S. Open, the PGA Tour, play on the U.S. Ryder Cup team and President's Cup team, and to hold a ranking of top 10 in the world. He is also second to the youngest player behind Tiger Woods to win the Masters. Two years ago, our honoree was named by Time Magazine as one of the most 100, 100 most influential people according to Time Magazine. Our honoree exemplifies everything that is great about sports. Inspired by his younger sister, our honoree launched this his very own charitable foundation, the Family Foundation. The focus is to provide financial assistance and to create opportunities for certain causes that are important to our honoree. Those causes include the special needs of youth, junior golf programs, military families, and most recently, pediatric cancer. Our honoree is known for his modesty and self-assuredness. He truly defines what it means to have a champion character both on and off the course, and I have no idea. If you've watched these before, you know my weakness is sports. Pop culture, I can pick up on. Entertainment, I can pick up on. Oh, nice tie. Okay, sorry. Um, sports, I'm lost. Yeah, I I'm at a loss. I, I got nothing. So let's, before I get the tie, oh, my God, the, the Argyle socks. Uh, so this is from 36 Golf Co. Of course, okay, it's golf socks. The Argyle, it makes sense. Uh, let's give it, actually, let's see here, yeah, hey, that works too. Uh, so if you've seen the videos before, you know one of the issues that I run into, uh, being a fat person, um, especially with men's dress socks, is compression around the calf, but these actually feel pretty decent. Um, you know, I'm, I'm loving, so, you know, there's a Heather Gray uh, with varying shades of green for the Argyle pattern. Um, yeah, I, I could easily see myself wearing them, and since I've lost considerable weight, I probably will see if I can give a few pairs of dress socks a try and see if my um, calves don't wind up scrunched down for three or four hours. Uh, the next thing we have here, I'm studying the pattern, so I see a polka dot, but I can't tell. Yeah, there is. All right. So I'm going to see if I can get the eyesight to focus on this. There's not only a polka dot pattern, but, oh, there we go. There, okay, maybe, yeah. So if you look around, each polka dot actually has a slightly raised circle. So uh, we have a very dark green tie with this um, kind of white circular polka dot pattern. Uh, this is great. Um, you know, again, uh, I mean, look at this. It just fits perfectly with the uh, the blue of the shirt. Um, Deo Veritas, maybe, uh, is our maker here. 100% cotton, made in China. So I see a golf motif. I see green, lots of green. And I see two boxes. And I'm going to grab the longer of the two boxes. Let's see what we have. Any longer the two boxes. So, uh, the first thing I see is AK. Uh, AK timepieces. Oh, okay, so we got a watch. 
Horology is the science or art of measuring time. Watchmaking began in Switzerland in the 16th century. Today, there are over 1.2 million watches made each year. From quartz to mechanical and diver to aviation, your options are endless. At AK, we believe that your watch should match your style. A watch tells another who you are, where you've been, and where you're going. We want to help you voice that. We hope you like our watch. We know you will love what is underneath. So, let's take a look and see what we have here. And, you know, I've got to... Oh, my God, yes! All right. So one of the things that I'm loving, one of the reasons why I kind of had that reaction is most watches just have like a straight white face, but look at that. The green face. I, I always love just a good men's watch with kind of a colored face. Blue could work. Green could work. Um, what I was thinking about as I was reading that, and I've mentioned this before, um, you know, I, I don't hide the fact that I'm coming up on three years since uh, my, my Apple Watch addiction came about. Um, you know, and this is not only my go-to timepiece. Let's let's see if we can make this happen. Aha, look at that. So uh, this is also, you know, I have people, how are you losing weight? How are you losing weight? Well, being the slave to this <clears throat> is actually a big part of it. Um, you know, again, there's just something about my personality. I have an addictive personality. Um, and I just, I want to make those goddamn rings meet. Like, you know, as soon as I finish this video, I've got to get out to the gym to, um, to finish up that exercise ring. Uh, so, you know, I, I've kind of been slacking on wearing, um, traditional men's watches because, you know, like I said, for three years I've had the Apple watch and, you know, I, I kind of have to use the Apple watch every day, uh, you know, to, to monitor my movement. But that having been said, a while back, I was kind of thinking, gosh, I guess it was about this time last year, maybe a little earlier. Uh, I was thinking, you know, why don't I do this thing where I can wear the Apple Watch on my non-dominant wrist and basically use it for notifications, um, use it for uh, the health tracking functions, and get back to wearing a traditional wristwatch. And I think that is exactly what I'm going to do and this is going to be the wristwatch to do it. Now, only concern at this point in time is, you know, and again, I, I am by no means uh, a big dude when it comes to um, my wrist. Uh, one of the greatest moments of heartbreak during adolescence came when my father tried to take me out to a gym. And, uh, you know, this was back in, like, 1986. And the, the guy who was at the gym... Um, Asked me, oh, hold out your hands. And, you know, he held up my hands and, you know, he kind of took a look at my wrist. He's like, well, you kind of have a light frame. You know, so I, I kind of knew that I, I didn't win the genetic lottery, so to speak, in terms of having a big frame. So um, I, I don't have really thick wrists. Uh, for me, I was able to get this on with two holes left to spare. So I think the, the only concern is the fact that, um, you know, if, if you're kind of a bigger guy or you've got a bigger wrist, uh, you're probably going to have to size up the band on this. But I'm, I'm even liking the band. Uh, I don't know. I guess we can find out because I'm going to take it off. And I'm probably not going to put it up to that third ring again. Uh, I don't see the band is leather. So I, I don't know if it's... I don't know if that's crocodile or snake. Not passing the sniff test, so I'm not even sure if it's it's real. I mean, it looks good, don't get me wrong. Um, but, yeah, but the face of the watch, though, I mean, come on, look at that. That that green is gorgeous. The green, the silver, the brown. I mean, this is just like catnip in terms of combinations of colors. Um, you know, like I said, I mean, you know, look at this. That, that was what I opted for with the watch when I, when I upgraded earlier this year. I uh, decided to get a silver just because that plays a little more and a little better with um with with what i like to combine for colors so i'm, I'm loving the watch um man so let's let's see what we have here so i, I have another box uh i have another box that of course this would come the morning i trim my nails oh of course of course 
for a golf a, a golf themed. Oh, oh shit! It's not only a flask, but as soon as I get it out of this plastic wrapping, you can kind of see. So it's a silver flask. with a brown leather wrap. This this is gorgeous. Oh my God, just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Vintage Gentleman is the name of the maker. Um, man, this this is just stunning. Holy shit, stunning. Uh, you know, again, brown leather, silver or chrome, That that is like the catnip combination. Um, all it needs now is like some nice organic wood on it somewhere, and I'd just be I'd be in like total bliss mode. Um, obviously, we can't do that with a flask, but you know you get the idea. Uh, th this is man, oh man, oh man. Of course, what I'm wondering now. Ah, shit! It's four ounces. That's the one downside. Uh, I, I cannot put this at least fill it. I can't fill it and put it in a carry-on bag. That that is the um, the one downside. But still. Uh, the, this flask is just amazing. My God, this is gorgeous. Um, so that would seem to be, that is, that is the box. So let's take a look in here, you know, and again, I, I'm not disappointed by the number of items because, Jesus, that, that watch and that flask, um, they are doing the heavy lifting. Usually with the gentleman's box, you know you're going to get socks, you know you're going to get a tie, and then maybe two or three other things. But, I mean, just... These two items are major, major heavy lifters. Um, so let's see what we've got in here, just to see. Uh, so style inspiration. I, guess I keep forgetting this. Every month when I do the gentleman's box unboxing, um, I, I always forget. So this is a relatively recent thing. I think they've only started this within the last six months. Um, they not only have... A style inspiration for this month's stuff, but they kind of bring stuff in from other boxes. So, you know, we can see uh, April 2017, um, August 2017. Uh, as a matter of fact, I was wearing that Gentleman's Essentials Earth Bracelet uh, just earlier this week. Um, the tie this month, uh, the Dibby tie bar. So, the one nice thing is, you know, and I, I always say this, if, if you're kind of new to the styling game, trying to figure out what works where and how, this is a great starter box because you know, now that we're actually getting into the product profiles, uh, they'll tell you exactly what's the style, what are the complementary colors. Um, over here, what's the style, what are the complementary colors. So it's kind of a good way to get in there and kind of get a feel for how to dress up, uh, how to maximize your style game. And my God, again, this 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 watch this watch is killing me. This is this is freaking amazing and gorgeous. Um, let's see, do's and don'ts of dressing on the golf course. Uh, so we have yes, um, you know, golf is one of those games. And I, I admitted about ten years ago when I was living in Orlando, Florida, I actually bought a set of clubs, and then I moved to North Carolina. And I think the clubs still have the cellophane wrap outside the big um, the big bag. It's one of those games I always think about getting into. And then it's like, oh, shit, but that means I have to go out and be physical. And, you know, mind you, here I am four months later after I started working out daily, down 75 pounds. It's like, well, shit, I'm physical. I don't have an excuse for it now. Uh, golf course etiquette. A simple and effective way to take care of your body. Uh, let's see. Be good. Jordan Spieth Family Foundation, Charities We Love, Environmentalism Made Easy, uh, the feature member, Q&A. Uh, let's see here, the exclusive deal of the month, uh, the socks. So, yeah, uh, that, that's the box. So we'll do a quick recap and we'll wrap up. Um, man, this is, this is really, you know, again, four items but there's, there's some pretty heavy lifting stuff in here. So we've got the flask uh, from Gentleman's, the, yep, uh, our Vintage Gentleman's. Um, amazing flask. If I could actually use it at work, I would. Uh, we have the watch from AK, and I, I think the watch is like absolute favorite. Probably the favorite thing that I've seen in um, 
the men's boxes all year. I, I mean, you know, some of the watches have kind of been nice. I think the last one I got was a little too big. It was a little too chunky. But, you know, again, this is just, this is kind of uh, just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, uh, the silver, the chrome, um, just everything about it. That, that green face was really what caught me. Uh, we have, from Deo Veritas, we have the tie. And finally, from 36, we have the Argyle socks. So there we go, folks. That is your April 2018 Gentleman's Box, honoring our favorite golden child. So at this point in time, if you'd like, uh, subscribe, please, by all means, hit the subscription button down there. Um, I am currently subscribing to three men's boxes. Gentleman's Box, which we've seen, uh, Sprezza, which I just recently did an unboxing on, and Birch Box, which will probably show up in about a week or so. Um, on the Geek front, I, I may be doing some hedging back. Uh, if you watch the Geek videos, the next time I get a Geek Box, I'll talk a little bit about it more on that side. So, uh, there we go, folks. Um, if you want to leave some comments, please, by all means. I, I love this, man. I, I had some internet rando who found one of my Winston box unboxings from like almost a year and a half ago at this point in time. Like, you angry fat fuck! Do you know me? Uh, I'm just, I, I had to laugh. I was actually in my office when I logged on to YouTube and I saw that comment. I'm like, seriously, dude. Uh, like, if you lost some weight, you would fit into anything. The whole reason why I'm subscribing to the Winston box is because I was fat at the time. That's the idea, dum-dum. Um... I will respond to people, you know, and again, you, you don't have to be a dick to get my attention, but if you're a dick, you will have my attention. I, I guarantee you that is not something that you want. Um, so again, hit the subscribe button, leave some comments, and I will see everybody next month. So until then, be good, be good to each other, and stay safe out there.